Hello. Welcome back to our 12 Days of Christmas card uh, giveaway. So I started Monday. If you joined uh, Monday, then you kind of know what this is about. If you haven't seen it yet, I am doing a 12 Days of Christmas card um, giveaway. My name is Laurie Rothwell, and I am here at Pieces of My Art. I'm out of my studio, and I'm getting ready to just do a simple watercolor card with you for 15 minutes. So when you hop on, make sure you say hello. I just want to inspire you to um, do Christmas cards this year. So um, I'm going to just, I have a light drawing here of day two. And I'm going to just do a little bit of a background color. Just a light wash. I am not a watercolorist, but I am an artist, and so I'm not afraid of playing with it for sure. It's so much fun, and I've done lots of watercolor, so it's not something that I haven't done. I erased my lines and now I can't see. The shape of some of these artists. So when you get on, make sure you say hello. This was definitely rushed this morning. I'm sometimes the worst at getting um, the word out on things. Not that this platform is the best at being helpful in that. Okay. These cards, so I made one the other day. Where's it at? Oh, it's over on the table over there. I was going to get it and show it to you. But anyways, I made one. The, um, Monday was our first one, and I did a little sparrow or black cap chickadee sitting in front of a birdhouse with a pear, like folk art painting of a pear on it. And that was my pear for day one. And of course, my dog's barking. And you know what that means? That means that Amazon is here. And I, dang it, I was hoping I would be able to get this done. I am just doing some pastel colors. But, shoot. I may have to run. I may have to go. You know what? Life is so imperfect and unpredictable. And right now, I have a dog that acts like he wants to eat the poor delivery guys. And I am not looking at any picture right now, so. Um, I don't even know. It's amazing how much we rely on
looking at stuff to do art. And when we just break loose of that, sometimes it can just be so terrifying. even more so when you're live and you know people are watching. So it looks like it's, there's finally some people joining. Say hello if you're watching. Let me know where you're from. This is day two of the 12 days of Christmas card giveaway. colors. I have no idea what color. A dove, I know, is kind of a white and gray, I guess. But is a turtle dove even a real bird? Hi, Dorothy from Arkansas. Hi, Lori from Maryland. Wow, on your lunch break. That's awesome. You guys, man, it's cool when I see where everybody's from on here. It's awesome. So if you're, when you're watching, I know a lot of people usually end up catching the replay. So how to get in the drawing for the gift card, uh, make sure you share this video on your own profile. If you have, and then just comment shared, and I can usually see who shared. I can't see, well, you better comment who shares because I think if I'm not friends with you, I won't be able to see. Um, who shared so comment shared if you shared it on your own personal profile and I'm sure everybody's just gonna think who is this crazy lady that got up and left in the middle of her vi video to rescue the dog hi Bonnie how are you I haven't talked to you or seen you on here in a while um, but share it invite your friends to like my page if you haven't yet or if they or yeah anyways I can't even get a complete thought out sometimes when I'm painting so how to win I'm gonna say this again I'm gonna have to say it a bunch of times to get entries into the hundred dollar gift card you share this on your page that's one entry or on your profile and so just write shared in the profile or you can and or you can invite your friends to like the page just say friends invited or whatever make sure they're friends that like art not just anybody if they're not interested thanks bonnie for sharing um you want it to be someone that would be interested in art. So be selective. I don't want, I'm not just about getting numbers and by no means. Numbers means mean nothing. Um, I can have a big page and no, nobody sees it or watches it if they're not interested. And that's just pointless. And then also, if you have not signed up, for emails, um, go do that. I think there's a sign up button on my page. I 
and you can just go do that and just let me know I signed up or something. Well, that I'll be able to tell as well. But And that'll give you, for each of those things, you'll get an entry. So then after the 12 days, so I'll do this on Mondays and Wednesdays um, at noon is the plan. After today, I can guarantee you that there could always be something that happens that keeps me from doing it, like today. So anyways, thanks, Dorothy. Um, but I will be back next Monday for day three. And also, I don't know, these cards... <laughs> I'm just painting for the fun of it, and these are definitely nothing um, super special. But if you particularly would want this card, they're the one that I'm doing, the first person that puts the line to the song that this card represents um, for day two, I will mail it to you. So um, if it's something you're interested in. And I'll write some message, a letter to you in it. I know that the turtle doves, or I guess I say turtle doves, is there really such a thing as a turtle dove? Or are they just doves? different kind of doves. I don't know. I was looking it up, but I didn't look on Google. I was looking on Pinterest. So, of course, in Pinterest, you're getting all the artist renditions of what a turtle dove is. At least that's the way my news feed works. But I know that they kind of have a little bit of color in them. I don't know what colors, though. I'm just playing with the colors. day I did some I did it in ink first and this one I just went straight in the watercolor so I won't really be able to add ink to this one and right now because it's still wet because I don't want to get my pens They are standing on an olive branch. Watercolor is definitely different than acrylic. to really plan ahead more when you're figuring out your composition. You really got to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to end up with birds that, or whatever, that are on top of each other and Bring me a pen. 
over here that I use. No, these are still good. No, I don't want a brush pen. I have so many pens here. Got brush pens. But I don't want something super. I do like a Tombow pen, but it's been a while since I've used it. And so I don't know what this one's like. Let's see. We'll just try it. Um, and I also don't like to make the letter P. I was going to write peace on this. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Um, but I do not like making the letter P. It's like my worst, one of my worst letters. Let me see if I can make it pretty. Nope, that's not a good pen. Totally forgot. I have other Tombos here. Totally forgot to get a pen over here. It's not the one I want. Um, I don't know if Sharpie's in there. I don't like using a Sharpie on watercolor paper. No, it's not. Well, you know what? I'm going to try this brush pen. This is a Faber Castell. We'll see. Something you need practice with for sure. And it's not something I've practiced with a lot. I'm very good with this one. But I was not going to get up again and go look for a pen. So this definitely is a learning curve for sure for a pen like this. So it's a brush tip. All that means is like the end of a paintbrush. I would think that I would be more comfortable with that except that I don't do a lot of lettering that all of my lines are thick and that's not I thought I was doing pretty good when I started but it's definitely I don't know I feel like the more I mess around with this the more I could have gotten it so there's kind of a messy piece. Hi, Charlotte. All right. Not the best, but, you know, and I feel like I need to have this is a fun pen, though. I like it more for the painting aspect of it. My little beaks aren't the best. I tell you what, birds are not an easy thing to draw. But I know too, I also know it's all about the practice. And I've not done a lot of birds. Drawing actually is something I've not done a lot of. Drawing and painting are two different things for real. So I know when people say, I can't even draw a stick figure when they're not sure that they can paint. And I'm like, we're not drawing stick figures, so you'll be fine because painting's just different. So anyways, there is my two turtle doves. I think some gold 
um, foil. I have a gold foil pen. Would be pretty on this to just kind of make it a little bit pretty sparkly. So, all right. Well, I'm done, and I will see you next Monday for the next one.